Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Glitter Day's Bellatrix or Treat and Limby Designs Mert Lap. I'm going to start with this Starting Over by American Classics. And here is Glitter Day's Bellatrix or Treat. And then we have Lynn B Designs. And this is Mert Lap. Gorgeous. <laughs> I'm going to start off with the first coat of Bellatrix or Treat, and this was a polish that was like there once a month. I used to be part of the glitter days of the month, and you would get one polish a month. They still do it, um, but since they're not doing Harry Potter anymore, I, I stopped getting them. Um, so this one's been in my collection for a while, and I've never worn it. And there we go with Mert Lap by Limby Designs. This one may still be available. It is so pretty. It's such a beautiful little pink, and it's got these little glimmeries in them, like silver and gold. Oh. And now we're going to go in with that second coat and build this up. I love it. It's got those flakies in it. It is just so pretty. And I know it's not fair to use polishes that aren't available anymore, and I'm sorry, but I do have a lot of them. Hi, Woody. How you doing? And here we go with our second coat of Mert Lap. And this is going to bring both of these to full opacity. I'm just, uh. I'll be topping it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat seal it in and dry it down so that we can do some stamping because I am ready to do some stamping Woody's out again hello Woody got a little bit too much top coat I had to wipe some of that off there we go gonna cap that free edge there we go. Oh, I just love it. Happy joy joy. And there's a swatch photo of these polishes before I stamp. I'll be using the Fashionista Collection 07 from MoU London. It's new, so we got to get this blue film off of it. And clean it with some acetone. And a paper towel. <laughs> I'll be stamping today with Clean Color. And whoops, this one is metallic purple and clean color metallic pink. They're not stamping polishes, but whatever. And I'll be using my monocle stamper and my clear jelly scraper. I'll also be using this Nicole Diary NSO4, the silver. I'm going to do double stamping to make those colors pop a little bit better. You can see I've already gotten started. I'm going to stamp silver first, clean off that stamper on my little lint roller, and clean that plate off with some acetone, and then we're going to go in with the color. This purple is so pretty. But I had sampled it, and um, it wasn't showing up without the silver behind it very well, so I decided to pop that silver underneath, and it made such a difference. loving this plate. It's so cute. Got lots of images on it that I want to play with. And now for the pink. I do that one on my ring finger on my accent nail. Just having way too much fun. <laughs> go. So as you can see, I did the purple on the pink nails and the pink on the purple nails. And my thumb looks like my ring finger. I know I didn't show it, but it is. It's the same. So I'm going to go in with a piece of tape and clean up a little bit. And this cleanup is going really well. really do like it when it cleans up so easy. having a good day with it and I thought these were really pretty I thought it looked like really ornate wallpaper 
<laughs> there we go. Now I'm going to get out my um, handy dandy little dapping dish with some acetone and my cleanup brush and just clean up just a very tiny bit. Doesn't take much after the tape trick. There we go. So now I'm going to top it with the Born Pretty, the smudge free top coat. I'm going to do this first just to make sure I don't smear and smudge anything. And now we're going to use Posh and we're going to top coat everything with Posh. Nice, glossy, thick top coat. And I'm going to be sure to cap that free edge right there. But I really, really like this one. It just turned out so dainty, so pretty. There's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me a comment. Let me know what you think. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.